Have you ever wondered which software is used to edit movies and produce them in the Hollywood sphere? In today's video, we are going to talk about Premiere Pro and how Hollywood studios use this software. $38 a night. Out. Oh, come on! Out. Thank you very much. You're not welcome! Gone Girl and Hail Caesar are only two Hollywood movies that have undergone premiere recuts. You can see that this is a company that has a unique understanding of what it is to be able to offer an end-to-end -end solution. And if you can put those tools in the hands of people who want to make it happen, it's going to be about the quality of the ideas. A comprehensive product suite from Adobe allows users to edit and produce audio and video, as well as produce graphics, titles, and change color. We do a lot of speed effects, ramps, color effects, third-party camera shake plugins, no! split screens. We kind of throw all this stuff at the timeline and Premiere makes it work. Artificial intelligence from Adobe helps with tasks like facial recognition and lighting adjustment. If you are already familiar with Adobe software, Adobe Premiere is a good option. It is without a doubt the industry standard for video editing. On that, the majority of specialists in the field of video editing would concur with you. However, not all professional video editors use Adobe Premiere Pro as their go-to program. For one thing, the term best can be interpreted in different ways. Video editing technology has advanced quickly. This means that most widely used professional video editing systems have a set of standard tools such as governance of the media and production alongside the ability to export and import multiple file formats. The pro level capabilities of different video editing software are where the most obvious differences can be discovered. Comparing video editors might be challenging. As a result, you might find that the best video editing program for you isn't the same as the best program for someone else. Game of Thrones has between three and five editors, each with their own assistant. So there's all of those workstations and then there are producers who are hooked up as well. Then there's the whole dailies department that are uh, uh, syncing all the rushes and grading all the rushes and all the media storage. So Avid is obviously the leader in big projects. What you use will depend on what you need for your project and how much expertise you have in video editing. Additionally, as your projects advance, not just now. Which software do some of the biggest YouTubers use to edit their videos? Adobe is more common for non-Hollywood productions, but some notable films such as 2016's Deadpool movie are edited using Premiere, so to say that Hollywood studios majorly use Premiere as their go-to software is quite a stretch. You can find multiple occurrences when it has been used to produce high-quality media for the entertainment of millions, but to land the spot, most films were made using a variety of other software. Even if they used Premiere, that's only one stone in the whole production brick wall. Many fundamental layers of editing and color grading and even VFX usually depend on a bunch of programs to fabricate this delicacy of a visual symphony. With as many tools as possible in one location, software like Premiere, Final Cut, Vegas and many other analyses are primarily made for individual usage. They are primarily designed to be utilized locally on a single machine with local storage. This makes sense given the sizable market of smaller operators who complete full projects on a single machine in the video and film industries. Many of these NLEs or non-linear editing systems also adhere to the Henry Ford feature release philosophy, which emphasizes releasing features as quickly as possible while addressing any bugs as they arise. It is immediately clear from looking through Avid's documentation that it is a very different species. With a focus on shared storage and hardware interoperability, Avid offers a wide range of support for large setups with numerous operators working on massive projects simultaneously. It has always seemed like stability in the face of ever-complicated workflows was the top goal. Avid is widely used in the film industry since it is ideal for challenging projects involving huge teams, 
Large feature film projects also employed lightworks. Analyses like Vegas, Premiere, and Final Cut, notably Final Cut Pro X, though well liked, in other areas have struggled to gain traction in big budget endeavors like Hollywood movies. All the functionality and toolkit needed for video editing are included in Adobe Premiere. This is the product to choose if you want to produce videos that are incredibly clear and elegant. It has excellent features and user-friendly interface. Both amateur and seasoned Hollywood filmmakers can use this program. It's simple to understand and use, and it includes lots of lessons and instructions to help you along the way. Numerous Hollywood films including Dust to Glory, Act of Valor, A Liar's Autobiography, Hail Caesar, Gone Girl, and others have been edited using this program. In conclusion, we can see that though Premiere Pro is not the go-to editing software used in Hollywood, it does not mean that it cannot be used for major productions. As seen in this video, you can recreate similar work with the same quality using the Adobe editing software and still have it nail the job perfectly. Premiere Pro is used in Hollywood to a certain extent. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and leave a comment and see you in the next video.